Alright guys, welcome back to EA UFC career mode. Alright, so I checked the, um, the options to see if there was a option to make the clock tick faster, you know, in rounds. And I couldn't see it anywhere, so, you know, for the career mode. I know you can do it in exhibition matches and online, I believe. But you can't seem to do it in career modes, which is not a bad thing, you know, it's kind of like just realistic. Alright, so we're going to move on to the ultimate fight of finale now, see what the matchup is, who the opponent is. Hey kid, congratulations, you made it to the finale. This should be a great fight. You better bring your A game. Yeah. Okay, so it's Braden Richmond. Okay, so I'm not sure, I don't know what team this guy's on. Look at the guy, that guy's submission game and ground game is really bad. He's, he's a proper stand up fighter, kickboxer. That's his style. So I'm probably going to take this guy down. I might be even spend a few points on the ground, maybe. Submission game is bad. Maybe I'll purchase a, 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 a submission with my points that I earn in training. Because we're definitely going to go for an all round, you know, style. So we can pick up our enemies' weaknesses and enemies' opponents' weaknesses. You know, the Joy St. Pierre style. Today we're going to work on takedowns. I want you to yeah, takedowns. Close distance, lower your level, blast right through. There we go. I like that penetration so we just drill in takedowns, it looks that. like. Over and over again. Just see as you can get as many as we, in as we can. There we go. Keep driving. Perfect. Great oh, he just needs to get a thousand points, and that's it. Sixteen seconds. I think we had the forty-four seconds left, then, didn't we? So I think it's a minute long. Good job. Oh, spamming it too much there. Followed through to the next thing. Um, Command. This guy's body's getting wrecked. Alright, last one. I might start editing out the training sessions, because they're all the same now. You know, just keep the fights and like updating on where we are in the competition. Avoidance. So move out the way. Just, just like literally walk away. Ow. Let's use that octagon. Get out of the way from those strikes. I think the best way to probably avoid is that, yeah, we'll walk backwards. We can we avoided that one there. I think we need maybe a thousand oh just as many as we can. Get as many points as we can. Ow. That's moving your head. Oh it's time. Look the the points go up. Over time, not getting hit. I thought it was actually his strikes there to it. not get hit by. That's when you get points. Oh, and he got a brown belt for that one. So we won't be, won't be getting as many points. Yeah, see, I, oh, that's it. The red bar fills up all the way. When the red, you know, if you don't get black belt, you don't get the maximum amount of points. Striking always gives the most points, though, like over 100. Crazy. We did miss out on a lot, though. Only got, what, 90 points short of the maximum on the score for movement. See, um, I'm gonna see if there's any submission. See if there's a submission we can get that you can perform and mount, because that's what I end up quite a lot of the time. Oh, they don't really show you where the mount starts. Gogo -go Plata, is that is that a mount submission? It looks like it is, but I think that might be able to start as well on the back, and then you roll over to the mount. Uh. This could be confusing. That's the back. Rolling knee bar, triangle. That triangle's from the guard. Mounted triangle arm bar. That's the mount. So let's put that on our skill set. And I'm gonna put some points in submission. Because we're gonna try and submit this guy because that's a joint aim submission, isn't it? You gotta put two points into it. You can't put any points for four points, I don't think. Need to start putting some um, kick and stuff in as well. Right. Can't spend these four points, so that's it. So before we move on to the fight, I need to assign that submission, I think. Because <laughs> I don't want to be going into this fight trying to do the submission and be like, Whoa, why isn't it working? Stupid game. And it's my fault when I need to assign this, the move I purchased. Submissions on the far right. Oh, God. 
the it's not very clear. These are you think they'd have the name of the position you do the mount from? Uh, it says there. Then I'm an idiot. From dominant full mount. Uh, it's not there. Okay, so it's already assigned it for me. Mounted triangle, yeah. That's a bit. The menu there isn't that um, easy to read. It's not easy on the eye. You'd think they'd have like a list of all the positions and then give you all the submissions, but it's all like mixed in, like someone's just throwing it in there. Okay, so we spent all the points. We got a new submission. Let's move on to the ultimate fighter finale. Let's go represent Team Lola. I don't think Tito's in this game. Or check Congo. The fight rosters. There's 97 fighters. But that's spread across like. How many divisions? Like 8 or something? Including the women's and like flyweight. Like the heavyweights, there's only like less than 10 fighters, I think, or maybe 10. It's not a lot. And some of the fighters in there are not even like that highly ranked. Like Pat Riley's in it. I know he's a popular person. He's like he's got a lot of fans, but he's not even in the UFC anymore, is he? He's been cut. Coming up next, it's a lightweight matchup between. Oh shit! I'm actually on the pay per view. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. These two fighters will be competing tonight in the Octagon to determine who will be the winner of this season's Ultimate Fighter. And now, <laughs> this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. They've actually put stuff on his card. UFC first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall. Playing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Liverpool, England, Mountain. Mountain. <laughs> fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of four wins, one loss. Standing five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 147. 147. Pounds. Juggernaut. He's like two pounds above the the weight class below us. I wonder if that actually affects his performance. Probably doesn't, it's just the number in the game, isn't it? Let's take him down. Oh no! Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna try and just, I'm just gonna take him down, because the strike is meant to be quite good. He's a kickboxer. It's a setup to take down, though. I can't just be spamming it. Yeah, he's rocked me. He just missed that right hook. Got him. Oh my goodness, how Let's move into mount. Show. He's defending that. I'm in the mount. Oh, look at that mount Let's try and get him to drain, drain his stamina. Connected Maybe there. strike up, strike him a few times. Juggernaut with a good right. I think we can just maybe just go and pound him. Let's submit him. Oh, he defended it. He hit the skates. He's out of the full mount. Try and get this submission. He's not having it. He's in half guard here. Just get my stamina filled up now. Block that. And that's dude. He should get the submission now. Sure. What the fuck? <laughs> he had like no stamina. I had full stamina. Alright. Come on. That's it. He got it. Submission game's his weakest part, so we should be able to get him here. It's kind of hard to see the colours here, with the um, the map colour behind it. I don't know why. I'm having a hard like time seeing it. Oh, uh, we nearly got this. Come on, come on. Just want a quick and easy win. Nice, we done it. Yay. <laughs> see, you see your opponent's weak point, and you, and you go for it. I didn't even try and attempt to t fight him on the feet there, because I knew I could beat him in the submission game. And we, we got him with the submission we purchased. 
just before the fight. As always, we check out our oh my god, look at my veins! <laughs> as soon as this armbar gets locked in, there is no escape. Perfect technique, tremendous pressure. And one more time from this angle, god, the lights make me look even more pale. In tight <laughs> for the tap. Yeah. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest. At 1 minute 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And now, this season's ultimate fighter lightweight winner, Mountain. And there he is, this season's ultimate fighter. <laughs> kind of cool seeing like it doesn't look exactly like me but you know it's meant to be me for me that's kind of cool okay so we ranked up to level one what's this congratulations on going to win the ultimate fighter tournament good luck in the UFC you now have 9,000 fans is that Twitter fans? How was that measured? Uh, there's the composition standings. What does the red and blue colours mean? Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's the, it's the pattern for the Ultimate Fighter logo. It just shows the winner. Alright, let's move on to see what's next. Do we just fight people around the UFC? Make our way up the rankings into the win the title fight? I wonder if you actually fight, surely you'd be fighting actual UFC fighters now, not just the um, made up characters for the game. Obviously for me, being tough was a great opportunity. Kind of a dream scenario for anybody. Winning that show is special. Anybody that's gone through the Ultimate Fighter knows what I'm talking about. You win the trophy, you get the six figure contract. The more people that know you, the more people want to watch you fight. And you get a, such a direct connection with fans from being on the Ultimate Fighter. Instantly everybody knows who you are. You know, you get more sponsors, you get more recognition. Now we have a, a real launching pad for talent, and a lot of these guys are going to be the superstars of the future. And we're starting to see that. Hey kid, congratulations on winning the Ultimate Fighter. Welcome to the UFC. We're happy to have you in the organization. Hope you're happy too. I look forward to seeing you fight soon. Hey man, congratulations. You are the winner of the Ultimate Fighter series. Nice job. I knew you would do it just like we spoke about in the beginning. You achieved your goal through all that hard work. I couldn't be more proud of you than I am right now. Guess what? Now the real test is waiting for you. The tough guys, the UFC veterans, they're lined up and you're going to start knocking them down. I'll talk to you soon. So it does look like I'm going to be fighting actual UFC fighters. What's this? In the main event of the UFC 176, Hanan Barrao defend the Bantamweight title against Eddie Wineland. So, oh shit, yeah. Is Hanan Barrao? Oh, Bantamweight, sorry. Yeah, I'm lightweight. What was that in the top left there? You've unlocked a new game plan. So we've unlocked stuff now, we can... What's this? Okay, I have to fight. So we're fighting Nolan Roach, another made-up guy. He's a judo fighter, so he's a ground guy. Stand-up's his weak point. We're probably going to try and knock this guy out. Let's accept that fight. Hey man, I just read on the blogs that you got sponsored. Congratulations. Keep winning, and more's going to come. Do fighters actually do this in real life? You know, send video calls to each other, little messages. <laughs> Surely, probably just like text each other. I suppose it's a good way to tell a story in the game. New ability unlocked: vicious kicks. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that's the game plan stuff. Oh no! Can I come back out of that? Um, I want to look at this stuff first. What was I going to look at? Um, abilities, was it? Was that the game plan thing? Yeah. So we got game plan. 
Here you customize your fighter's special abilities. Each game plan can have up to five abilities at a time. So if we go into that. Uh, what the hell's this? So it looks like you can have five abilities, but four of them are locked for the moment. And it looks like there's only two options two that we can pick from in the middle stand up. Vicious kicks and heavy handed. Which increases the damage from your hands and elbows. So it works on the ground as well as stand up. So do the kicks. Probably gonna go for stand up. I mean hands, excuse me. What does that mean, that thing in the bottom right? Don't know, but if that increases my damage quite a bit and I've got an opponent I'm hoping to knock out in the next fight, that's a good thing. Will we come out of that now? Yep. Hopefully they last forever as well, those game plans. They don't like, not like one time use. I think they probably do last forever. And we also unlock sponsors. I hope it's not too fiddly trying to like Assign all your sponsors to your shorts and all that, you know. Like in the UFC Undisputed, that was goddamn fiddly. Going to edit fighter with a massive loading screen every time. Edit fighter. Sponsor banner. Okay, so it's the thing they put behind you before you start your fights. What's this? Select sponsor. I only have one sponsor, and it's the UFC, it looks like. They're all, yeah, they're gonna be all locked, aren't they? So if I click on this UFC, is this my banner, the layout of the banner, it looks like. So can I just... Yeah, it's just like the layout of the banner, I think. It's like you have a big one in the middle, and three small ones on the sides, each side. So it just have the middle one for now, because I think I've only got one. I'm not quite sure I've only got one. It tells you what you need to do to... You get so many fans, you unlock them. Oh, they're unlocked in order as well. So, I think I've got like 9,000 something fans. Okay, I need 1,900 more fans to unlock EA Sports as a sponsor. Okay, so I've got UFC as a sponsor. I don't know how the sponsors work in this game, because in other games, you gain cash, and the, sponsor, the more sponsors you have, the more cash you get, and use the cash to upgrade your training equipment to get more attribute points. I don't know how that's going to work in this game. I've got no other points to spend. Alright, so before we uh, move on to the next um, training session, moving on to the first actual like fight for the UFC, past the, past the Ultimate Fighter, I'm going to end it here. Alright, we've got awards there. It's probably going to be Ultimate Fighter. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. Let's get distracted there. So, uh, see you guys in the next part. See you later. Bye.